Hey Floss Tube. This is um, Marty from Triple M um, Stitching and Finn. And I, what is today? Today is March 9th. And sorry, Finn moved the curtain. Um, I filmed my last video on Monday and today is Friday. And so I normally wouldn't update this quickly, but I had a finish that I'm going to be gifting tonight. And so I wanted to come on and film and show you and then gift it. Um, and I'll, I'll splice this clip together with, um, hi Finn, with another update clip, um, here in a little bit. And so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show what I've been working on. Um, I have two finishes to show. Hi bud. Um, oh, that's very sweet. And, um, <laughs> sorry, very distracting cat times. And, so yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. I don't have a crazy um, amount of stuff in the way of life updates because uh, it hasn't been that long. Um, I've been off work today and I've just been stitching and watching Floss Tube um, and relaxing and getting some like chores and stuff done in the house. So it has been a good day today. Um, we're going to celebrate a family birthday tonight. And yeah, I had lots of cuddles with Finn who takes naps for most of the afternoon. <laughs> But yeah, and he's very involved, so hope you enjoy uh, the guest star. So the project that I finished that I showed in, my, I think I sh showed it in my video, um, or maybe it was in plans. Yeah, I don't remember now at this point. Um, but I finished, well, I started on Tuesday and finished May the Forest Be With You. Um, this is a kit that is, I think it's technically by the Dimensions Company. Yes, it is. Um, I got it, at, I think it says Hobby Lobby on the price tag, but I may have gotten it on eBay. I'm not sure. Um, but it's super cute. And so there's like, the example has four people stitched up here and then you can kind of choose which four you would like to include in your project. And so I did switch out a couple and it's not finished in a hoop yet and it might be splotchy because it is still wet from being washed and ironed so um that is why it looks like that but here is my finish of may the force be with you i chose yoda r2d2 darth vader and luke just kind of basing it off what i thought my my brother would like um i wanted there to be a droid and in the example thing there wasn't a droid um so i, I did i swapped out who is this? I guess that's Obi-Wan. Um, there for R2-D2. Because I love the droids and I think there should be one on here. So yeah, very cute, very enjoyable stitch. I think I might actually eventually stitch this again for my desk or something. Um, it was really cute and it stitched up really fast. And it came with this hoop that I stitched it in and then I will also be framing it in probably when I get off, well, whenever it gets dry enough to finish, then we'll inspect it for me. Um, yeah, so whenever it's dry enough to finish before I have to leave tonight, <laughs> I will put that up in the hoop. I usually do the method where you like do a, I guess it's a running stitch along the back and then you can like pull it and cinch it and it is finished into a hoop that way. I think he's just going to probably hang it on his desk. And so I'm not really right about the back, um, but I hope he's not offended by, by how horrible my back is. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to keep the pattern and the floss and everything. It came with a lot of floss, I think with the idea that you might be using a lot for one of these different characters. So I think I would have enough to do it again for myself, but I don't always love stitching patterns twice. So that might take like a slight backseat. Um, and I really want to stitch a BB-8 pattern. BB-8 is my favorite Star Wars droid. I love him. And so I have one that I purchased on Etsy. It's like a digital download. Um, I think that's going to be a start soon because I want something. I'm just been trying to decorate my desk at work. So I think that is probably a start that will come up soon. And so I finished that this morning and I had the whole afternoon I wanted to keep stitching. And so I pulled out... One of my goals for this month was to finish up some older whips after I finished Be A Light, which I showed in my last video. That was a Dimensions kit. 
and I've been working on, since last Memorial Day, the chart Molly Williams Homestead, which is by Pinker in Pumpkin Quilting. I think quilting, yeah. Um, she has an Instagram and a blog, and when I downloaded this from her blog, all of her charts were free, and so I was able to just download it and stitch it, which is really nice, and so I need to go back on her blog and see what else is new. I haven't looked since I downloaded this one last May, um, but I finished it. I really didn't have much list to do, so it seems impressive that I finished two things in one day, but they weren't really that, it's all that impressive. Um, so here it is. I mostly did some of the yellow in like the bees and things and then this larger bee up here and all the bees wings and things like that so like I said not a ton left to do but I was able to knock that out while watching some floss tube I got oh my goodness hello um <laughs> I got this square hoop at a craft thrift store near me and I really like the shape and the squareness of it um but this twist uh I guess screw is really hard Finn just tried to carry this away with him um this screw is really difficult to turn tight all the way it does have a spot for like a screwdriver so maybe I'll try that I know that sorry cat problems um, I know that the brand Nerge makes a square hoop like this, and so I went on Amazon and ordered one. I have another Nerge hoop. Um, yeah, it was Nerge. It was like a tension hoop, so it's like this kind you squeeze the metal and put it in, and I do like that. Um, but it's a smaller hoop, and I think I kind of prefer that style for that size hoop. So I'm excited to have, I ordered a few sizes of the, of the square, so I'm excited to have a few more to keep my projects um so yeah but yeah this was a dollar at the craft thrift store so not a horrible deal at all and I'll keep using it I need to find a, a screwdriver that will work with that because just the metal was really hard to get as tight as it um, needs to be so really happy with this stitch I'll probably take this to like Walmart or Hobby Lobby or somewhere and see if I can find like a little wooden do dad to finish this on, put some rickrack around it or something, and hopefully have it out by Memorial Day. So that'd be a good goal. Um, so the last thing I'll mention in this clip, and then the next clip will be um, more recent things, is a little bit of plans. Like I said, I might want to do a BB-8 stitch, um, but I haven't pulled threads or anything for that. My other plan for maybe a new start is from this Just Cross Stitch magazine. It is, let me look at the edition really quick, Spring 2024. And I'd like to do this cover chart. I love bunnies and I love spring and I think she is just beautiful. I have not, again, pulled colors or anything for this one. Let me find it in the magazine. I saw this at my local needle workshop and I had to have it. Um, I think I want to do it on like a, oh my goodness. Sorry, Finn sat directly in front of the camera. Um, I think I want to do it on like a oatmeal or a fiddler's cloth or something like that. Something kind of neutral, but with like a slightly interesting background. Here's the cover photo in the magazine. So I want to take this to work, photocopy it, get a paper chart that I can maybe scan in as well. So I can either stitch from my iPad or a paper chart, whatever I end up preferring. And then hunt down some colors. So I may or may not have started that next time you see me. I might put it off till next spring. Yeah, I have, I'm really undecided after finishing Molly Williams. I have no idea what I'm going to pick up next. I have some old whips I could pick up and that'd be fun. Hi, Finn. Hi. Um, but yeah, these are my thoughts and I don't have a lot of plans, but I guess you'll see what I work on in the next clip. So see you soon. Hey Floss Tube, uh, welcome back to my second half of this video. I filmed the last half on March 8th. Today is March 22nd. 
Um, I have two more finishes to show. Um, Finn is right here behind me. <laughs> he uh, is very curious. I tried to film this video last week and I only had a little, like a little bit of time that day, but he kept um, knocking over the phone that I was filming on. So that did not make it into the final cut, but hopefully today he is a little less uh, spicy. Right, Finn? He said no promises. But he, so like I said, I have two finishes to show and then a little bit of stash acquisitions. And then I want to talk about what I like to some future plans and do a little bit of a kit parade as well. I have some of my like, I have my eyes on these things that are from my stash um, that I want to show at the end and maybe decide what to start next. And if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my cross stitch notebook. This is my bullet journal uh, that I've been using. I used for several years and then we moved and I couldn't find it because it was in a box that was in storage that I didn't touch. And I have found it again since we have moved again and unpacked everything, nothing is in storage. It was just, it was in our apartment, it was just in the closet that was like just temporary. Anyway, so what I was doing in the past was I would draw out a monthly spread and then I would have like a list of works in progress and finishes. And that's what I've done again. So like this is just, let's see, it was final. This is December of 2021, I think. Yeah. Like here is, or here is November of 2021. Um, and then, yeah, I think 2020, I do have some for 2022 in here, but then I took a while off stitching. And then last time I was using a planner, I couldn't find this, so I had a different one, but we are back. I'll show you my works in progress and finishes spread first. Um, I will highlight the whip when it's done. I didn't mean to highlight right there. That whip is not done. Um, and then I will add it to this finish list over here. I like being able to have those at a glance um, and be able to easily count my works in progress and stuff. I still need to update my most recent finish. But here is, hi Finn, here is my March spread. Uh, bookmark. I had some goals. And then I just write down whatever I end up working on that day. Some days have two projects because I sit on my lunch break. And then when a project is started, it gets a highlight box. And when a project is finished, it gets, the name gets highlighted. So that's where I'm working really well. And I'm really glad to have this back. In my last clip, I showed that I finished May the Force Be With You and Molly Williams Homestead. And I was going to start working on Winter Sampler and Life's a Beach. And I have finished both of those. I worked on Winter Sampler first. This is an out of print chart from Birds of a, a Feather. I had put um, an in search of post on the thread in cross stitch stash unloading, or stash unloading cross stitch only. I think um, it's a Facebook group and a kind, fellow stitcher offered to send it to me, which was very nice. I'm stitching it with, or I stitched it with Espresso Bean from General Arts, as well as, do I have one? Yes. Or no, I don't have the other one. It was from Weeks Dye Works. Oh, I do. Weeks Dye Works Onyx. And there are two shades of, of black in here. It's hard to tell on camera, I think, but in person there is some dimension. I switched up the fabric from, from the called for beige to snow on blue and 28 count from Fabric Flare. And it is done. Let me get a good angle to hold it up. It's done. Um, I'm very happy with this finish. I am going to definitely want to get it framed for next year. Hi Finn. Are you going to be a good boy and not knock over the camera a bunch of times? Oh, but I will knock over your notebook. Um, why don't you go over here, bud? Well, say hi. Say hi. Okay. There you go. Um, so yeah, I went, when, mm, let me try to think of what I had done when you last saw it. 
since working on it this past time, I've done all of the deer's legs and then all of this ground, which took forever. Like it was a surprising amount of stitching. And then I did a couple letters. I think I did G, N, and L over here. And then I did this little heart and a couple snowflakes. But it's a really fun stitch. That's a good, it's a pretty deep blue. Um, it's a really fun stitch and I wish these would come back in print because I would also love to do the Sally Spencer sampler from this, from Birds of a Feather, but that one's out of print too. And it usually goes on eBay for way more than I can afford slash want to spend. So that is that. I it's, This is my oldest whip. I started it, um, let me refer to my notes. Um, November 27th, 2020. It was a part of a, a stitch along, I think on Instagram, like black sampler on Black Friday kind of thing. And I started it then and I promptly ran out of espresso bean because it says you'll need more than one skein. But I think I, I don't, I don't remember. I had like way too, too little floss. And so that was during the pandemic. And so I could not get more of espresso bean. It was like every LNS that I encountered in Maryland and South Carolina, two in South Carolina, they were all like, no one can get this. So I just put a few like pre-orders in in a few different places. And when it came in, it came in and I worked on it some more then. I took a break and now it's done. So I'm kind of picturing framing it in like a gray distressed wood frame, kind of a rustic vibe. I'll keep my eye out at the thrift store and Hobby Lobby and things like that. Um, but I probably won't push to get it like FFO'd, fully finished until next winter because now it's springtime. So I finished that. And then I also finished my work project, which is Beach Bears. I don't have the pattern with me, but it's okay because it's done. And I was working on this at work on my lunch break. And then I would sometimes bring it home because I just loved working on it so much. And it was so close to a finish that I also have been working on it at home some. But yeah, I finished it like 10 minutes ago. Hopped on the video now. So Finn was sleeping in my lap while I worked and it was very sweet. But he is, as most cats are, very sensitive. And so I shifted my legs slightly and he woke up and was very disgruntled that I would dare shift my leg like that. So now he's awake. <laughs> but here's Beach Bears, or I think it's called Life's a Beach. It's on 28 count mint green Jubilee. That is a pretty good representation of the fabric color. It's, a, it's pretty, it's more saturated with color than it's showing. It is from, so the, pro, the pattern's called Life's a Beach and that's how I found it on eBay. It was a paper pattern. I first saw this design on Stitch and Mommy's channel. She had a video a while back of like projects she had completed in the past before she had a floss tube. And I saw it on there. And so I went on eBay and just kind of typed in, I think Life's a Beach cross stitch. Um, and that's how I found it on eBay. But I then realized as soon as I got it that it was, I'm pretty sure like torn or ripped out of a, like a leisure arts book. So I had like page numbers in the bottom, other patterns on the front and back of the pages. Um, yeah, and it was just very clear that it was from a book and I could not tell which book from the pattern. So if you try and find it, make sure you are able to find which book because now I can't like give proper credit to the book. Um, and that was not disclosed on the eBay listing. But this is like one of my favorite projects I've ever done. I love like the 90s vibes. Um, it's just super fun. The little lifeguard in the back. There's a ton of back stitching. Everything is back stitched. But I think it looks really good. And I think my husband and I are going to go thrift shopping tomorrow to find a frame because I want this on my desk at work. Because I work in a freezing library and I would like to feel the warmth of this piece and the beach vibes <laughs> when I am freezing in the library. So that is kind of what I have been working on. We'll do some... We'll do the kit parade in a minute, but I have two quick stash acquisitions to show you. The first is I got um, a Nurge N-U-R-G hoop on Amazon. That's the brand. Um, I also got a second size, but I'm horrible at knowing 
numbers and math and things. And so it's like ginormous and it's way bigger than anything I'd want to hold. So I'm going to return that one and then maybe get the size down from this one. Um, so it can be for like smaller travel projects, but I do really like it. I like this mechanism much better. I had gotten this square hoop at Recraft, which is a craft thrift store near me. And I liked the squareness of it and how it held the fabric. But this mechanism was really, really hard to turn. And I think you could use a screwdriver, but I think it also was like improperly aligned in there sometimes. And so it didn't tighten all the way. And so, yeah, this one is not super good long term, but it did make me realize I like that style hoop. So I bought the Nerd one. And then I was at Recraft again today because I go there all the time because you never know what you'll find. And I got this dimensions kit. It is called Our Family Tree. It was $4. And it was a complete kit. And it has... An outline of a family tree and then spots for you to put in your ancestors and things like that. I work with genealogy a lot in my job and so this felt very fitting. I'm not quite sure when I'll start it but yeah it's just gonna be good to have I think. Um, I like how you can do both sides like my, my husband and mine side over here. So yeah, very excited to have that and yeah, very relevant to my professional life as well. Um, the first thing I did was I was like, I have to tell my coworkers that I found this um, because some of them are crafty as well. So yeah, that is my little bit of stash acquisitions. And now let's talk about what's next because refer back to my notes again. I feel like that one character in not uh, the magic school bus and she was like according to my research according to my notes all the time but so I have one two three four five I have six works in progress now that I've had um those finishes Sunflower Street by Stitching with the Housewives Santa Claus by is coming to town by I think Stitch Rovia is it Stitch Rovia or is it I think I'll show it in my next video, probably. Santa Stocking by Doreen Jones, Christmas Elf Fairy by Mirabilia, and Coulter the Fox by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. So those are my whips. <laughs> Three of them are Christmas related. And so I had a Christmas pattern that I was going to put on my short list to start, but my whips are very heavy Christmas leaning, so I think I'm going to hold off on that one. And so I, I'm, I don't mind having around eight, 10 works in progress. Um, I was really motivated to finish lately because so many of them were, were slash still are um, from years ago. And so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to freshen up my whip bucket and things I had working on. I have been working on, so I've been excited about the finishes I've had this month in March. Hopefully I'll have a few more in April and some new starts as well. Um, I think I might want to pull out my Santa stocking this weekend and work on it some slash I might have a new start I'm really very unsure I've been so like tunnel visioned on life's a beach that I, I I think I'll just follow my whims at this point with my next move I don't know but yeah let's chat about a couple patterns that are on my near future radar and they're mostly kits so this one I just kind of brought out to show as part of the kit parade I don't it was on the short list until I realized I had so much Christmas stuff. It is called Coffee Shop by Dimensions. I really love this one. Um, and it might be a start this year. But I think I want to get at least one other Christmas pattern done first. Um, I have another Christmas Dimensions kit. This one is Holiday Home. This is not a gold. This is just a regular. So it's not as... I guess intricate though it does have some pretty intense back stitching. I really love this one and the colors and the design of the house and you can personalize it and it's just amazing. Um yeah again something I want to start but so much Christmas. Um this is from I got some stash unloading it's a little cracked but it's one of those Lizzie Kate 
boxers. It's um, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. It's in like a CD case and it has the fabric with it, but not the threads. And I have no idea what colorway I want to do it in. So that probably will not win for being my next start, but it's very pretty. My last dimensions kit is Voyage at Sea. This is a gold collection petite. Um, I love how it tells you to cover the edge of your mask, ma your fabric with masking tape. It's like a controversial take, I feel. Um, but yeah, this one is like in the top three of possibilities. That's um, high up there. This next one is also pretty high up there. They're, these two are kind of like more summery vibes, which is what I was working. I was like kind of leaning in towards because I feel like I'll probably be working on this project still in the summer. This one's called hmm, Coastal Cola by Silver Creek Samplers. I got this um, at the local needlework store in Maryland. Yeah, I really like this one. We are probably going to go to the beach this summer with my husband's family. And so, yeah, I feel like that'd be a fun one to have already started. I don't like to start new things on vacation, but I'd love to bring this one. I kitted it up with just a blue even weave. Colors, man. Um, but from like a craft store. And then I got all of the threads. They are general arts threads for the most part. Um at Fire Poppies when it was open, rest in peace. Um, but I was been looking at, so the the red is like a muted red for Coastal Cola, which I like because it's like weathered beachy. Um, and this is the, the skein of Cinnabar that I have that's called for it. And I'm just worried it's too pink. Um, and so I think I might take it to Panda's Crossing and what do you think? And see if I can find something a little bit either a skein with a different dye lot or a different color because I'm just worried that once it's all separated out, like these light strands of it are really light. So I don't think it's going to work. So this might not be my next next start because of that. This might be a uh, next time I go to Pandas Crossing. I will investigate, but I'll leave the bag out so I can put it in my car so I remember to go. What's next? Okay, yeah, this one is not directly Christmassy, but it is wintry. And so I'm not sure if I'm in the mood anymore. But this is Snow Much Fun by Hands On Design, part of the Banner Year series. Um, I love the little snowflakes and things. And I have this brown polka dot fabric. I went ahead and purchased that years ago. Um, and I have the color of cottons. So it's, it's really... And it's white fabric, which I definitely have. Um, but yeah, I'm not, it's, it's, well, today it's rainy, but it's hopefully getting warmer. Um, and so I might hold off on that one again. Um, let's see. This one is Seaside Light by, well, it's by Imaginating, but the designer is Diane Arthurs. Very pretty. There's also an autumn light, and I do not have that one, but maybe I'll ask for that one for my birthday or something, because autumn light is also really pretty, and it'd be nice to have two. This one is pretty high up on the list as well. It's also high on the list to become a work stitch. It's a little bit bigger than I would have been taking, just like fabric size-wise, um, but it's on Ada, which I like for work, and it's a paper chart, which I like to not have to charge like my iPad at work. Um, and kind of like for beach bears, I could take it, I kind of brought beach bears home to do some of the more complicated back stitching so that that system could work again. So we'll see. Um, yeah, that one's pretty high. So these two right now are our highest contenders. We love a nautical theme. I grew up in Charleston, so that makes sense. <laughs> and then speaking of nautical themes. This is Bothy Threads Swimming School, and my cover photo got damaged, very sad day, but it is a bunch of cute little turtles, just like over overwhelmingly cute turtles. Um, and sea turtles are my husband and I's favorite animal, and that is a full kit. And so that one, I love. It's not like calling to me as my next 
start necessarily. I'm just very torn, if you can't tell. Um, huh. I think my husband also stitches. Um, I'll show maybe some of his work in my next video, which maybe I said last video. But um, I think he is going to start a turtle piece when he's done with his current work in progress. He does one at a time. And so I might wait to start this until he does his turtle piece and then we can just do turtle ones together. But that is floating around in my brain. And then this project bag is like small kits and mill hills, which I think I've shown on my channel before. I'm just gonna highlight a couple. I have some button, well, honestly, I'll probably just show all of them. I have a couple buttons and beads that we got at Stitch and Frame. This is from, these are from the Christmas Village series. It's Queen Anne House, Queen Anne's House and Bookseller. Um, at Stitch and Frame in Rock Hill is also closed, rest in peace. And um, these were, they had a ton of these villages stitched up and it made it very hard to pass up seeing how like pretty they were in person. Um, I have this Mill Hill Lemonade. I haven't done a Mill Hill in a while, to be honest. So that's like kind of tempting. This I think, oh yeah, it's from Hobby Lobby. It's the American flag. I was going to do that and hang it on our fridge. I have not, obviously. Whoops. This is Mill Hill Buttons and Beads Country Lane Footbridge. The colors are amazing and I love bunnies and that little hopping bunny bead just really got me. Um, Mill Hill Holiday Ornament Counted Glass Bead Kit. It's nativity scene. I thought about making that into a brooch. I think it comes with a pin to make it into a brooch. So that will probably happen again. Could happen this year, but kind of over Christmas at the moment. Not not over Christmas, but over Christmas representation in my whips. Um, ooh, this one's cute. Caramel Apple. And that's gonna be a magnet. And then I have, I love Artist Designs Chesapeake Bay Treasure Series. I started these when we were living in Maryland. I've done her hair, the blue, gray, blue heron and the crab, and I need to finish them. There are these amazing kits that have the backing fabric to be a pillow, silks, all the trim, everything. So this one is Tundra Swans and Island Ponies. Those are good summer stitching like when we go to the mountains for a weekend. Um, so I need to remember to do those. And then last but not least, it's Christmas. Are we surprised? Um, this is called Yuletide Friends. And this one honestly has been bumped up on my list. I saw this on Stash Unload and it was already sold, but then I got it on eBay. Um, but now that I have a cat who where I have no idea where he is now, which is like kind of suspicious. Um, but anyway, let me show it to you. It's Yuletide Friends. It's a little cat and mouse in front of a, a hearth. And it comes with the Ada and the little house frame. 18 count Ada. Embroidery floss, needle, cottage frame. Easy to follow instructions with chart. From the Cooler Design Studio. So yeah, I... Now that I have a cat, that one is... um, I have a renewed love for it. Um, and it's not like... I mean, it's 18 count, but it's not like a ginormous design. So yeah, I think at this moment, we'll see it's tough. Before we, we, as I talk to the camera, before this whole video started, I was really leaning toward the Coastal Cola pattern, but looking at the Cinnabar again before filming this, I was like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just like, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd be happy with it. So I don't want to just push through that one. Um, so I think we really narrowed it down to these two. Um, so leave, leave in the comments what you think. <laughs> Maybe this will be my cover photo. Leave in the comments what you think I should do. I probably will have already chosen by that, but I'd be interested to see if the majority opinion is what I, I go with. Um, and then... Yeah, I have a couple patterns, like PDF patterns I kind of want to start, but I think, I'm thinking about waiting until April to do that. Um, so I will decide between these kits 
post haste. Um, and we'll see what happens in my next video. Thanks for watching this and happy stitching.